Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vitmo, and this is the beautiful Vupu Drag S. Let's do this! Before we get started, we need to make a massive, massive thank you to EC Click. They've not only sent me this for the purpose of review, they've also sent me the Drag X. I intend to review both of them impartially. You know me, straightforward, no BS. So massive thank you to EC Click. Check them out at ecclick.co.uk. There's a link in the description to the written version of this review. There's more pictures of the device and a more in detail review. So check that out. Meanwhile, let's have a closer look at the system. Now this little beast is that good. It's kind of hard to think of a nice place to start. Um, I mean seriously, where would you start? First of all, it looks a bit like the Aegis range from Geek Vape, especially with the leather back type thing. It's very uh, Aegis eh? <clears throat> then it's got the very proper Vupu style buttons, even to the extent that the button's got an indent. It's nice. We'll come to a screen in a minute. If we look up here, we've got something very beautiful that you don't often see on pod mods. And that is a very nice adjustable airflow. Very specific. There's a hole on either side. There you go, look. Both is controlled by one. So you've actually got twice the airflow over here. Just like on a tank, really. <clears throat> and then as we go a little bit further up, we've got the pod. Now, if you look here at the pod connector, you've got four magnets that connect to a metal plate inside the mod with the connectors below that. And if you look, if we put it level, the coil actually bumps over the uh, pod. So they press nicely into the connection. It's just beautiful. Obviously here the pod's looking quite a lot like a RDTA, uh, yeah, RDA or RTA, but it's not. It's just a normal pod. Push pull your coils in there. I think it's very, very Touching though, I think the only difference between this and a normal mod is the fact that it's got magnets holding it in rather than uh, a screwing 510 pin or any other screwing system. So I really do like that. It's a really strong pull as well. I mean, I can't, got a bit of liquid on my fingers and I can't get it off like that. It's not hard to pull out, but hard enough that you need to have a grip. It's good. Nice and tight. It's beautiful. Down the bottom, we've got some uh, little rubber feet to stop it from touching down. And then let's start getting to the actual business. We've got a micro, we've got a USB-C port here, not micro USB, USB-C. In fact, people often wonder, oh, why are you so obsessed with USB-C? It's just because it's the newer version. Why would you use the older technology when there's a newer version of that? So there you go. USB-C keeps Harley happy. You got your up and down bottom bit. You got your up and down buttons to adjust your voltage. Voltage. Start again, shall we now? You've got your up and down buttons, and they adjust your wattage. Now my camera's not focusing very well, so you're gonna have to bear with me for the next bit. You've got your fire button up top. Now I'm probably gonna have to use a picture for this. But up here you've got the smart function. See if it'll, if we zoom in it might work it better, that's right. So up here we've got the smart function. Then we've got the battery, lock sign, wattage. Then here we've got the voltage and resistance. See that? This is your puff counter. And down here you've got a ranking. It's quite a lot like a, um, game like a war game it starts at iron and goes through the different ranks and how that works if you look at the picture you can see underneath your rank there's a like a loading bar when that gets to full you get a star then it goes back to zero and it works back up to full again all the way until you get five stars then your star is clear and you go up to the next one which is bronze then it's silver then it's gold then it's platinum I think i'm missing one then it goes to master, and then it goes to king. Um, and that actually works out on, it's got the gene uh, TT chip inside. And that actually calculates 
roughly what they brought what you're getting. It uses that information to create your ranking. And if we actually look here, zoom in again, it's not showing you. See, I'm, I've got bronze, and it tells you actually how many thousand. I don't particularly know what that K stands for. Uh, obviously, it's thousand, but I don't understand what measurement that's in. Because I'm not a science guy, I'm just a VIP reviewer. So, there you go, guys, that's the closer look. Let's go into the specs, then we'll go into opinions, and then we'll do a giveaway. Got 87 by 33 by 28 millimeters, obviously. Now, my digital weighing scales at my shop, but it weighs in on my analog scales at about 150 grams. It's got a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. Now, I just put that in perspective, the Freemax Twister tube kit has only got 2,100. This is a pod mod and it's got 2,500. A lot of people are used to 25R Samsung batteries and they're 2,500. So you're not really missing much by having an integrated battery with this system. It's got a power range of 5 watts all the way up to 60 watts. It's made of alloy and leather. The pod is PCTG which is plastic, which is good, we don't want no breaky glass. It can handle a resistance of 0.1 ohm all the way up to 3 ohms, so it's practically a mod. Is anyone else seeing this? It is practically just a mod. The pod connection fits in any way. Absolutely, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually twisting the pod, it just goes all the way around. And the PMP coils, which are Vupu, also for the Vinge set, and I think all the other pod mods that um, Vupu have got, they fit in any way too. So it's not one of them pod, mod, pod mods that you have to faff about where you need to get the pod in the right way, or faff about where you get the coil in the right way. Bang, 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 simple. There is currently nine PNP coils available. I don't think I mentioned it, that USB-C charger via quite expectedly takes a 2 amp charge rating, which is nice and wicked. That means you're going to take about an hour, just over an hour, to get a full charge from dead. Happy days! If you click this button here, this little fire button, three times, it changes the system. Now it's on our BA, RBA, because Vupa have got a PMP RBA. Press it three more times again, and you're on smart. Now, not only smart, you're on smart, Press and automation. Suck it, it'll give you your vape. Three more times, and just press, and you get your vape. Simple, happy day. Now, while you're on the smart, so in other words, any system mode apart from RBA, the mod, well, like any other Vupa mod, suggests what, what you should use. But furthermore, it doesn't actually let you go up any higher. So on the note point free coil, for example, that's only supposed to be used at 40 watts. So you turn it up to 41 and it goes, whoa, max power, you're not going any higher. The 0.2 coil it comes with, that doesn't really apply because that goes up to 60 watts anyway. And it only goes up to 60 watts as an entire kit. As we've established, it's got adjustable hair flow. But yeah, I probably didn't tell you, because of the Gene TT chip, it fires at 0 0.001. That's 0 0.001 firing time. That's good. Then it's got all your usual protections. Short circuit, overcharge protection, overcurrent protection, over discharge protection, over temperature projection, project protection. I don't know what's going on with my words today. Over temperature protection. I <laughs> did it again. And like I said, it's also got max power protection, which won't let you go above the recommended wattage. But as I was saying a minute ago, that feature can be overridden. All you have to do is put it into the RBA mode section and press it three times until the screen goes blue. And then you'll be able to fire whatever color you want at whatever watts. Nice. About here-ish, I'm gonna upload some colors of the device. Them colours include classic carbon fibre, retro, mashup, chestnut, varsala, and galaxy blue. 
Now get lost. So it all sounds good. Let's crack over to my opinions to see if it's actually any good. So I'll it. it looks good. It sounds pretty good. It's got a lot of features. But is it actually good? Well, let me tell you. It's amazing. I, uh, I, I review a lot of pods and a lot of pod mods. And I'm not lying when I say they're good. It's just... I... I'm, I'm a flavor chaser and a cloud chaser. I like my 130 watt mod, rebuildable tank, air dripper. That's the kind of guy I am. So when I review these things, I review it on an unbiased basis of, if I was somebody that just wanted a mouthful of device, would this be ample? Does it give flavor? Does it give nice fruity? What's it like? Now, don't think I'm doing this with this. This is absolutely awesome. Let's just check this out. Let's see that again. That's 60 watts. In fact, no, that's 50 watts. Can you see that? Can you see it? Let's turn it up a bit more. Let's go for 60. Sixty watts, nice, plain and simple. Obviously, you didn't get a full bath for that; it went down. But it is pretty darn awesome. And you're going, yeah, but it's because it's got good flavor production. I mean, that doesn't mean it tastes good. Let me tell you something: it tastes as good as it looks. It's awesome. I love the magnet connection. Let's face it: anyone that's got a thing against pod mods don't quite understand what's happened since they started coming out. When we first brought pod mods out, it was like a difference. There a gap between pods and mods, and someone filled that gap. Ever since, pod mods have been slowly getting more towards mods. And like I said, the only difference between this pod, which, oh, and this mod, is the way it connects. You've got a 60 watt pod system that's got fully interchangeable adjustable airflow. This holds 4.3 mil of liquid. Um, you know, t tell me I'm wrong. Um, now next week I'm going to be reviewing the Drag X and that goes up to 80 watts. So you can half imagine what I'm going to say for that. If it, this can do this at 60 watts, the 80 watts can do all that says, I don't care if you want to call it a pod mod or not. It's awesome. And in my eyes, it's a mod with liquid you attach to it. It goes up to 80 watts, 60 watts even, and it handles it damn good. Tell me, tell me it's not good. There is one thing that's quite a problem with pods and pod mods alike, and that's that you can't often see the liquid level. But see, this is the thing. Look at where that line is, where the liquid starts. We bang that in there, there you go. All the liquid is above, and it's a completely clear tank. You can see literally the last milliliter liquid left in that pod. Now you're thinking, well, that's cool, but <clears throat> you can't put other tanks on it, are they? Well, other pod mods have now got 510 connectors, like the Vinci, Da Vinci, sorry, Vinci, sorry, my bad, Da Vinci. And now Vupu claim that they're going to do an adapter for this. Now I don't understand how a 510 adapter is going to connect to that without continuously rotating and never be able to get it out. But that's what they claim, so we'll have to look forward to see that. And if you like your rebuildables, a 60 or 80 for the X mod, it's got an RBA. Alright, oh I like my big, big decks. I haven't tried the RBA so I can't really comment on it. But from what I'm aware with RBAs, it doesn't matter how big your de build deck is. If you're a good enough builder, you can make magic happen with the smallest of spaces. A bit like that. So there you go, guys. That's my honest opinion. I think it's this. I'm obviously not going to compare it to a 2B or 3B mod with one of my favourite tanks on it. It's not that. What it is is a 60 watt pod mod 
And for that, it is exceptionally good. Honestly, I've been selling the Twister in my shop. When this lockdown's over, the Twister's gone. I'm going to be selling this in its place. It's awesome. Oh, there is one more thing to notice. While I'm looking at Vupu's website, I never actually found... Uh, they usually they tell you the unboxings and they tell you a TPD version. It didn't actually mention a TPD version for this, but I'm pretty damn adamant there's going to be a TPD version. So just keep your eyes out, guys. I'm pretty sure it'll be coming. It's coming. Right, now I'm not quite sure when this video is going to be released. I think it's going to be released tonight, but I'm not 100% positive. Um, so... I'm not going to announce last week's giveaway winner because then I'll be announcing it too early um, or too late but I will post it on the YouTube comment feed for tomorrow so if anyone wants the XOVA you check on the comment feed at some point this week and you will find who won that this is now for giveaway guys you will have a choice when the time comes You'll be able to have this one, or I'll keep this one and I'll buy you a brand new one. That choice is completely yours. Make your decision. But before you can make your decision, you need to win it. So what I need you to do is I need you to scroll. It's, it's, it's in one of these corners somewhere. It says subscribe. Press that. Then scroll down a bit to see the description. It tells you the terms and conditions of entering. You've got to be over 18. You're going to have to pay postage. Other than that, you just read them. Then scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the related videos, then you'll see the comments form. As long as you're logged into YouTube, you can comment. Whatever you put in the comments, you will be entered for the giveaway. If you don't want to win it, just say you don't want to win it, I'll draw it again. That's what you got to do to enter. It's simple. Meanwhile, please subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell, thumbs up, share the video. Mwah. Much love. And I think that's all I've got to say to you. So and, uh, until next week, guys, good luck, stay safe, and stay cloudy!